The parents. $7.50. With insurance. So I was on this medicine called Metro Progesterone. And um, basically, I took that for like six months. It was to start my period. Hey, y'all. So. Oh. don't mind my um attire but yeah so i know i've been mia and i'm so sorry i've just been going through some real real life stuff y'all like i told y'all how um you know there is some legal stuff going on in our apartment and basically our lawyer wanted us to move immediately which then uh, caused extra stress in our lives because where were we going? Uh, where were we going? We had to find a place to stay. We got denied at like two of the apartments and it was starting to get down to the wire. So we were so stressed out, y'all. Like it was the worst, like a horrible, horrible, couple of weeks and I was depressed and then my surgery is in two days so I was sad about that and again not necessarily sad about having to have surgery more so about the potential of the results because I don't know I don't want to have like a late stage of endo or something like that so yeah it just wasn't I wasn't in a good place to even be vlogging nothing but I should have because that's real life stuff that people go through and people need to feel like they have somebody that's relatable so I'm sorry you guys for for not vlogging and being consistent but I, I don't know sorry about that but the good thing is there is some good and the bad. Sometimes you just got to see it, the silver lining and things. And I'm just really, really, really happy and feel blessed that I have a great supportive husband. And not only a great supportive husband, but both of our families are so supportive. And I just want to shout them out. Shout out to our family. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Y'all have really, 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 really came through with us. Whether it be like emotional, like I don't even want to get into deep, deep, deep detail, but they know. And I just can't say thank you enough to them. But yeah, so right now I am headed to uh, my appointment or whatever like that. Um, I had a pre-op appointment last week. I, I think I had recorded some of it, like my gynecology appointment, because I got a new OB. Shout out to her. I love her. Um, yeah, so I got a new OB. I love her so much. And I have a great surgeon. I'm going to um, like put their information in the comments just in case anybody is going through the same thing that I'm going through. Again, y'all, I have the worst periods. Like, I've had... Usually, I always have blood clots that are, like, this big. Like, quarter size is disgusting. But, you know, as a woman, I feel like it's my job to kind of lace other people up on it. Um, sometimes, you know, I throw up pretty much every period and the only way that it will like not hurt is if I send the tub so there's that um but yeah you know God is still good God is always good and even whenever Corey and I were going through like some of the things that we were going through um like with getting denied for apartments and stuff even though we found one glory to God um it just was stressful and I I felt so bad and I was like I wasn't doubting God at all but I was like dang God why why is it happening to us but everything fell through for us literally the day before we were supposed to be moving out like the day before so never question God 
never ever question him never doubt him you got to have faith the size of a mustard seed in real life and I guess that's what what he put us through what we went through to show like if you don't have that faith you ain't got nothing but yeah on to other things so my surgery is in two days and after my surgery um well before my surgery actually i told y'all how i've been like in the house and i'm like i'm tired of being in the house like don't get me wrong it's a blessing to be able to not have to work but also at the same time sometimes you don't want to just be in the house like i just didn't want to just be in the house so um i have a interview with sephora coming up and i'm really really happy about that for real for real it's tomorrow but of course i'm not gonna be able to i ain't gonna be able to start until um after i heal from my surgery and stuff so let's clock that i'm just talking like i already know i got the job because i feel like i already got the job I know I'm gonna go up in there and win the interview. I mean, look at my makeup. Now, this is NARS. I have on NARS. I mean, I like it. But I, I like the L'Oreal Infallible Wear way better. Way better, so. And again, you know, it's, it's cool, but of course, if I would have on eyelashes, it'll take the look to the next level, but Honestly, another thing, I really just don't be feeling like putting on no eyelashes. I don't be feeling like putting the glue on, the glue gets sticky, that I don't like all that. So, um, yeah, I'm on the hunt to find the best mascara. Right now I have on the MAC um, extension. It comes in like a silver tube. I have that on and I like it. I like it a lot. So we're gonna just see. We're gonna see. But yeah, yeah, I've been going through a lot. And it's been usually I'm like a very positive person. Like I always, you know, can find the silver lining in everything, but it's so hard when it seems like everything is just hitting you back to back to back to back to back. It's like we had to find something fast before my surgery. Because my surgery is coming up in two days, and then my lawyer was like, Well, our lawyer was like, Oh, y'all need to be out of there, y'all need to be out of there now and we're like oh, what you mean <laughs> but yeah we figured it out though so i'm at the hospital i don't really know if i'm going to like i don't know if i'm gonna take my camera well i'm gonna take my camera but i'm not please wait i'm not all that confident take the ticket with recording even though i need to be Cause this is my life. This is my life, <sighs> y'all. People, and then oh, I just I don't know, y'all. I've been going through it mentally. It's hard when now if it was just like one thing, like okay, find a new place, cool, find a new place. But find a new place in like two weeks, cause you have a surgery. Then you can deny, it, deny it. Now I'm like, God, no, <laughs> this could not be happening. But it was happening, y'all. But like I said, it in life you are going to need people. And me and Corey, we were the type of people that um, we were used to being the people who people call. But God will put you in situations sometimes that you're gonna need people. He'll show you that you actually need people. Like you're not, you know, you you can. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to, you know, need people to support you mentally carry you guys over and that's what we learned and i'm just thankful that we have the support system that we do because a lot of people don't that is one of the perks of being a nepo baby okay okay so i'm about to go in my appointment is at 12 15. so i'm about to go on in now i need to grow some i think i'm a i'm gonna take the thing in there just checking my messages okay so i'm about to go ahead and go in there i'm gonna take my camera because i need to get better with doing it anyways y'all just stay tuned. <laughs> 
Why was my surgery? I had to pay seven fifty today. Seven fifty with insurance. But it is what it is. So. I'm going to the bank, then I'm dropping off the old keys. Oh, at the house, yeah. Nope. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hey y'all, so, oh, don't want to be green. My camera went dead, so hopefully the quality is still the same. But anyways, so I was on this medicine called Metro Progesterone. And um, basically, I took that for like six months. It was to start my period. And from there, I was taking the medicine every, every time. I forget how it go. But however the doctor prescribed it to you, that's how you should take it. And um, basically after like six months, my period started being regular on its own. Like I didn't have to take medicine, or maybe six months to a year. I'm not gonna say that. But yeah, or it could have even, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. It could have been even longer than that. I can't remember. I've been trying to get pregnant for so long. I don't remember. But yeah, it was after that that it started to be regular because before that it was not like i had i had to just pray my period would come then i had never had a pregnancy scare or nothing like that now don't don't do what i did because i was you know clearly having sex unprotected and by the grace of god you know i didn't get pregnant because i probably would have been devastated honestly if i would have had a baby out of wedlock it's nothing wrong with that but I just never wanted that for my kids. Honestly, I didn't. So, that's just my preference. I didn't want to have no babies out of wedlock for real. But at the same time, I don't know why I felt so pressured to have kids at that moment. I started trying to get pregnant like in 2017. <laughs> All I can do is laugh now, but because God has a funny way of showing you stuff. Nevertheless, I took that to try, I took Metro Progesterone to try to, you know, regulate my periods, and it did. I feel like it didn't do it right then, but it definitely did it. So I would recommend, you know, taking it and, you know, see what it does for you, because it worked for me. And then at a certain other point, um, at a certain other point, I had even started doing Clomid. I did Clomid for like seven, eight months. Y'all, when I tell you, I got huge off of Clomid. Like Clomid, it probably was working for sure. Don't get me wrong. But when I tell you I blew the what up, I blew up. I wasn't expecting that. I gained so much freaking weight. Ew. Yuck, I gained so much weight. And yeah, but it definitely worked. Well, I ain't gonna say it. I let me say this. I ovulated, and I know for sure that I ovulated. So whatever that's worth, and it should be worth something. It it did something. Okay. <laughs> Would I recommend it? Would I recommend comment? Yeah. Yeah. I did. I, I, I'm going to do another video on what all I did. I'm going to do another video on what all I did to get pregnant. Like what all medicines I took and how I feel. But comment will. One of them side effects is weight gain. And baby, when I tell you I blew up, I probably don't ever want to take comment again. I ain't even going to hold you. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I literally have tried so much to get pregnant. I'll, I'll tell you guys more about 
the pregnancy journey and stuff after my surgery hopefully i do not have endometriosis but if i do it's still i'm well i was gonna put on my seatbelt but i'm literally finna get out again hopefully i don't have it but if i do i'm just happy that they're gonna be getting it out sometimes you just gotta take the blessings as they come like i'm happy that i found a surgeon that i actually feel very comfortable with i feel blessed that you know i have a doctor that i trust and you know god is good that's all i can say is god is good so you know my husband and i are moving out of this crappy apartment i gotta get him the keys which is like man I don't even want to go to that freaking office. I literally cannot stand them. But I have to. So, there's that. I have literally been on the run, on the go, all day. me 
And um, the car was with me, and Corey was like, he was feeling away because he thought that once he had caught the car, he was gonna be able to drive it and all this. He couldn't even drive it. Like, it's not even that he couldn't drive it. He didn't want to drive it from Florida to Minnesota. Me, I would have drove it. He wanted to fly. So he flew and I had the charger for the whole summer. I was like, it's my car. And then I remember um like going to the beach one time, right? This after we had first got the charger. Yeah, I couldn't draw that charger for real. I really couldn't. But we had got the freaking charger. And I went home and like people was trying to race me. I can't drive at that time. I can't drive like that. I could not drive. And we was going over a bridge like from the beach to my hometown. And they had got pulled over. <laughs> I thought that was so funny, but it was so bound to happen because in the in the town that they was doing the most in, and it was like it was like two other charges, but there, of course, that charger was more souped up. Ooh, ooh. I was already out. Ooh. <laughs> That's another thing I hate about this truck. Well, I don't. I love this truck. Let me let me just preface that. I love this truck, but sometimes it takes too long for it to get up. I don't like that. Cause even the other the Honda, it was a sport. So if you ever had a Honda, you know they not slow at all. But yeah, anyway, so the cars that was trying to like race, it was it was souped up. It was probably like a Hellcat or something or a scare. I don't know. It was probably something like that because I heard it all in the engine. I was like, baby, I ain't finna race y'all. I barely even know how to drive. What the heck? That was a recipe for what? Disaster. <sighs> y'all. I'm tired. I done been out all day. I ain't do nothing but just talk to y'all the whole day. But hopefully, y'all was picking up what I was putting down. All day. I just was putting y'all up in my business. But tomorrow, we'll probably have something better to do. Because my interview tomorrow. Then the next day, I have surgery. Then the following day, I'll be recovering, going home. Then the following day, I'll be moving into my apartment. So I do have some content this up and planned for y'all it's just y'all thank y'all i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna do better i'm gonna be dropping videos every single day starting next week so y'all be on the lookout for that oh, bye guys i'm, I'm, I'm taught that today i'm taught that i may i don't know i may let y'all come to the house and see what that's here now i may may not i don't know we'll see Bye. How was your day? It was great, 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 great yeah. thing. Hard great working thing. man right there. Nah. Y'all need to know where my man work is. So. <laughs> I'm not it, it yeah. My my camera it don't have no more storage. Oh man, we gotta get you some more. Ah! You got a new car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like my purse now. Cause we we had lost my car. So whoever find it is the is literal dust, baby. Y'all gonna be pissed. Y'all gonna be pissed. I got a new car. Oh, now he want my car. Now he want my car. Ah! I'm just like I just said. It's on my purse. It's on my purse, baby. Oh, I like when he be in a good mood. Oh, okay. yeah, he don't trust me that I went to that bank. I want to make sure she went to the bank and did what she was. I did. I did. I took off what he said to take off. I was telling him how we had that um, charger, how to charge it illegal AF. <laughs> <laughs> and we still be riding around in it. Yo, 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 yo. I'm going to go and get it right there, man. We didn't have it too long. Yeah, it's, it's like four years overdue, literally. Yeah. Oh yeah, she wanted a new truck. I got her a new truck. He did. Even with the charger, it was my idea. It was. Yeah, well, I don't knock that. I ain't that type of guy. 
I ain't gonna not that baby mm -mm. mama. Mm -mm. Baby mama. Which, I know you're glad we had got that, huh? Yeah. You like the color of it too? Yeah. But not when they got so hot in the city, though. Yeah. Yeah, every like. Every time I pulled up, oh, every time we pulled much. up in Greenwood, we ain't got to be there for two seconds. Everybody in their mama knew I was dumb. Yeah, that was annoying AF. Like, literally. Oh, boy, you good. That was annoying. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna go out of school, right? Yeah, but girl. He gotta do that little laugh. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, I told him about doing that. You be doing that laugh at work. I don't laugh at all. Let's take a trip. Uh, you better not, because ain't nothing funny. To the world is y'all. On the blip. Hey. Oh, I don't know. I may take y'all with, with us to the store. I don't know. Mm -mm. My man said no. Mm -hmm. So I guess I got to stay in the phone. <laughs> he thought whenever he be carrying cash, he be, he be doing it like that. And I be like, just like that. I be like, what if you break it? I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's our soul dog, Mac. He's like, how old do you think Mac is? He's like six years yeah, old. Six. I just six, was testing right? you out. Yeah. I know. His birthday is December 13th, 2017. That's big boy, Wild Black. He's just our wild child. He's gonna need one of those leashes that can like hold on to the waist. It's Corey fault though, because Corey want him to be so tough. <gasps> Come here. Snack. <laughs> he's Snack. so nosy. Once he's locked in, he's locked in. Snack. Oh. <laughs> oh. Slop. Ew. Do it again. 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 Like you're trying to put a leash. <laughs> <laughs> This is our wild child. See, <laughs> see, he's a good boy. Mac is good. He's a sweet boy. That kid there. Oh, I know. He's literally slobbing everywhere. The parents. A win is a win. He just. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I hope you run down. Please. I'm a like, who is it? 